Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can use Open Broadcaster Software Multiplatform to record Minecraft or any other video game footage because that was requested quite often recently and I thought it might be a good idea to share my settings in Open Broadcaster Software with you. So the first thing you need to do of course to record anything is to download Open Broadcaster Software and therefore you just go to obsproject.com and get OBS Multiplatform for your operating system. Once you've got it installed and running, it will kind of look like this with a black screen and probably this will be empty too. Uh, so we want to add a new scene and then we want to take care of the sources. The sources are basically what you want to record. So in this case, it will be Minecraft 1.8.8. And so we want to add a game capture and you can give it any name you would like. And then it will bring up the properties for this game capture. By default it will say capture any full screen application but we want to uncheck that because we just want to uh, capture Minecraft so you want to uh, take down this uh, um, yeah, menu and uh, then take a look for Minecraft. You have to have it open for that so um, yeah, make sure that you've got that and then select it. If I just put this away you can see that over here you've got now Minecraft already inside but there's a black bar at the bottom that we want to get rid of. That black bar is because of the window bar that you can see up top here and maybe you also have your taskbar at the bottom that will even make it a little bit smaller. But of course we want to have it in the full resolution so we want to do four scaling and then you need to put your screen resolution into this which is most likely uh, 1920 times 1080 uh, so HD and then uh, if we just press OK you can see that it's stretched to the full uh, window size. So we've got already our game capture inside and that is the first big step that you need to do. Next we'll take a look at the settings. For the settings we just click on the settings button over here and I will now just go through my settings so you can pause the video at any time and I will quickly explain a few things about it so you get what I, why it's set, how it's set. Um, first up, general, we don't have to take care of that. Also streaming, I don't want to go into detail about streaming today, uh, but you can stream with this uh, program also while you're recording, which is quite cool. Uh, but then in the output tab, it will uh, be set to simple by default, but you want to set it to advanced. Then you, we've got a streaming tab. Again, I don't want to go into too much detail, but you can pause it right here to take a look at my settings. And uh, these are also the ones that I recommend for Twitch. But we want to take care of the recording, so let's go to here. And uh, this, uh, I want to go into a little bit more detail and explain why I set it like this, because it's a few tricks in here that we are using. First up, uh, you want to select MP4, because it will be uh, for default as FLV, uh, but we want to record an MP4, then also add a recording pass and do this uh, if you can, not on a solid state drive, so not on an SSD, uh, but record on a normal hard drive because that saves lifetime for your SSD. And uh, then you want to set your audio track just to one. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more advanced, you can set it to two channels too, and uh, then record your microphone from Minecraft separately. But for this tutorial, I would just set it to one now. Also, don't downscale your resolution. If we want to downscale resolution, we do it at another point in this program, so never check this box. And now we come to the tricky part. We want to have the encoder on X264, uh, and uh, we want to uh, play around with, uh, or we want to set the settings right, so you can record in the right bitrate. For all the old programs, it was always like, if you want to record in 1080p, you need to have at least 18,000 bitrate. But now you can see, I'm only recording with a 1,000 uh, kilobytes per second, I guess that is bitrate. And uh, that is uh, quite low. The trick is here that I use a custom buffer size and set my buffer size to zero. I saw that in a tutorial somewhere else on YouTube and it works just perfectly fine. Uh, what the program does now is it checks uh, itself how much bitrate it needs to record what I want to record. So it, it's not taking this bitrate uh, in any way. It will take a bitrate that is much higher than 1000. So you can set this to 1000, this to zero and then it will uh, take care of its own bitrate. Also, uh, keyframe interval, I've got to 1, then uh, this is unchecked. CRF, I've got to 10, uh, like um, the, the lower the number is, the better will be the uh, result of it. Uh, it's recommended to set it to 15, but I went a little bit more, so you can go with 15. Uh, CPU usage, you should set to ultra fast, which is the fastest, because as I said, it will check uh, for its setting itself. Uh, profile on high, tune on non, this unchecked, this empty, and then you've got good settings for your recording. 
and uh, then we can quickly take a look at audio. You can set that uh, to higher values that I've got it now. I've got it on 192 for now, but you can set it to more because we are recording audio and it doesn't really, uh, uh, video and it doesn't, doesn't really matter if we record a little bit more audio in file size. So that is our recording settings almost done. In the audio tab, I've just got uh, default uh, for the desktop audio device and the microphone as the microphone device, nothing too special here. And uh, then in the video tab, I've got uh, the settings like this and here you can uh, scale your resolution. So this should be your desktop resolution again. This should be your scaled resolution. If you want to record in 1080p, then this should be 1920 times 1080. But if you want to record in uh, 720, I guess there's even a drop down yeah, here, this would be 720p, which is also good quality for YouTube. And here you can set the frames per second. If you want to record in 60 frames per second, you can set it to 60. If you want to record in 30 frames per second, you can set it to 30. And uh, these are kind of the only two that are recommended for YouTube. Um, but um, yeah, you might want to check later. I will show you uh, when you should uh, like set this to 30 if you want, uh, can't record on, uh, with 60 frames per second with your PC because you need to make sure that it's really 60 FPS if you set it to 60 FPS because that's not always the case. Then for hotkeys, you can just set hotkeys for start recording and stop recording. I've got those on F12 and F9 because I quite find it quite useful to have those on those keys. And in advance, I didn't change anything. So these are the settings that you would like uh, to uh, have when you want to record. So I'll just do OK now. And there's one more thing that we need to do, which is the audio settings, so all the audio binding. And normally, if you bring this up, it will look like this. If you are then um, yeah, just recording with the settings I just uh, showed you, you can just uncheck those boxes because you're just recording your first audio channel. So uh, that was what you were setting your, um, your channels to. And uh, now you can bind different uh, devices to different channels. So if you want to go with two channels and your, and your video editing program supports MP4 with two audio channels, for example, Movie, Movie Studio 13 does that, then you can also set it to these settings. Uh, then I'm recording. Uh, on the audio channel 1, the desktop audio, audio channel 2, the microphone, and uh, 3 is my streaming channel, and I want to have both on the streaming channel. But we'll set it to this now, because this is most likely the setting that you will be going with. And then you're already good to go, because that should be everything uh, with um, the settings, and then you can already start recording, and then I recommend to do some test recordings. Um, I'm recording now the entire screen with another recording software. So if I start recording now, this might lag just a little bit because um, it can't keep up. Yep, I can see that uh, we've got some frozen um, things there. And what you want to do then is uh, to turn quite quickly so you can see if the bitrate is set right. And uh, you want to go into dark spots uh, to check um, also like if um, there's like uh, fragments in dark spots. But um, I will now stop the recording again. And uh, then we can take a look at uh, the just recorded footage, which, which is horrible. And I just started streaming instead. Oh dear, I guess that people will be confused if they turn on the stream. But anyways, uh, a little test recording. And uh, that should be already enough. So stop recording. And uh, then we want to go to your video editing program, which is for me Movie Studio. But it can also be like uh, other programs. And then what you should do is drag in your test recording and take a look at a few things. First up, you want to make sure that you don't have fragments in it. You can most likely see that in the blue sky or in dark spots, as I said. So just take a look for those. And then the other thing with the frame rate is that you want to check if um, you are really seeing 60 frames per second. The way you can see that is just by skipping through frame per frame and each time you click, there should be a new frame. Right now, that's the case, but I'm quite sure that I didn't record in 60 frames per second here. Oh, right now, it looks good. But since I'm recording this with the other program too, um, yeah, here we can see it. There, it's, uh, the CPU couldn't really keep up. So there are a few frames where it skips a frame and just records then the next one after. And that's something you should look out for. If you have those, then um, yeah, put the frame rate down to 30 frames per second. Uh, that's better than having sometimes a stutter in your video that then is four frames or six frames without a change in the in the frames. Uh, it will still say it's 60 frames per second, but actually it isn't, and it would just uh, make the video look way more awful. 
Just another tip on the side here, if you're using Movie Studio as I am doing, then always uh, make sure that you're disabling resampling f uh, for your clips, uh, because otherwise uh, the video quality will um, drastically uh, be reduced while rendering. But that should be it for the tutorial for uh, OBS multi-platform because that's the things that you need to know for the settings, for the recording. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then, have a great day.